This is an update of our iMac G3 modification project. After the release of our last video, there are changes in the operating system and I want to share the new features with you guys. I will in this video show how the Yosemite OS works together with iMac G3 i7. The original iMac is an all-in-one desktop with a PowerPC G3 processor. The word G3 added behind the word iMac is to distinguish it from the subsequent generations. We add i7 after the name iMac G3 because we want to distinguish it from the latest iMac i7 with a flat panel. For the same reason, if the modified iMac G3 has an i5 CPU installed, I will call it iMac G3 i5. This is the same file power iMac G3 i7 I have been using along. The case is the classic tear shaped design. The color is file power. This file power model is relatively rare as it was introduced in February 2001 and discontinued in July 2001 for sale for a period of less than six months. This is the eyesight camera. I use this vintage eyesight camera just merely my personal preferences. You can have your own choice of latest model of video cam attached to it. Here is the side panel. With no change compared with my previous videos. Free USB, free, one FireWire 400, one Ethernet port. The setting of the side panel could be varied according to specific needs of different users. Here is the power pack and there is a fan installed inside here. The Apple logo. Here is the handle, a blue Apple logo here. And there is a DVD ROM here. The DVD ROM becoming less important these days. Now I'm going to plug the cord with the iMac and put it up.
there is a margin around the screen. The viewable area becomes smaller, but it makes the outlook even more resemble with the original iMac G3. The iMac G3 i7 now is putting up the OS X Yosemite. You can see the screen. That's the startup screen of the Yosemite OS. You can see the margin is here. And the wallpaper is of the Yosemite OS. The hardware inside this iMac G3 i7 is 2.3 GHz Intel quad core i7. Besides, it has one. 1 TB hard disk here, 1 500 GB SATA supplementary hard disk, and 60 GB of RAM. We haven't upgraded the hardware, merely upgrade the OS because the motherboard is more powerful than that of the latest Mac Mini. So I don't see I need to upgrade it that frequently. Since inside this modified Mac is a pop, uh, Macintosh motherboard, buying new application and upgrading OS as I as easy as an ordinary iMac. Here is the menu bar, the wallpaper here, and the dock, dock here. The hot icon are different from last version, Mavericks OS. They are obvi obviously being inspired by the iOS 7. Now I click the Apple about this map. OS X Yosemite. Version 10.10.1, which is the latest one. And this is modified by myself. I made 15 inch early 2014 and the processor here 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i7. Memory G, uh, 16 GB, uh, 16,000, uh, 1600 megahertz DDR3. Storage Uh, 1 TB here and 500 GB of, uh, of a supplementary hard disk and this is a optical drive. This format that can be written CD-R, CD, rewrite, CD, DVD, RAM, uh, DVD, R, DVD, plus R, DVD, minus, rewrite, DVD, plus, rewrite, DVD, minus, R, D, L, DVD, plus, R, D, L. And the memory, two G, uh, two piece of eight GB uh, memory. This is the typical uh, OS X Yosemite wallpaper, but we can change it in the uh, system system preferences.
desktop and screen saver. I personally adore the file power wallpaper, so I change it accordingly. That's it. Now I'm going to show some application I frequently use with. First of all, the Time Machine Backup. I use this AirPod hard disk as the backup disk of this iMac G3. And the hard disk appear here, the icon. And now I click the time machine icon in the menu bar and back up now. And there is 2.78 GB needs to be a uh, backup and for the and I have talked uh, to you uh, so to you the system premises in fact there are uh, many things that can be config uh, within the system preferences just like uh, the dock You can change here. And uh, the mouse, the keyboard, so on. And then the launch pack here. Firefox frequently use this browser to navigate the internet I mute the the woofer because there may be copy copyright uh, uh, for the music clip, so I just mute it, and you can see the video. And this iMac can send or receive messages. And a mail here, the Dream Waver, CSX, the Fresh CSX, the new office for web processing, iPhoto.
as to the connectivity with other devices, I'm going to demonstrate it, its connectivity with latest devices as well as vintage devices. I need to open the iTunes. When I activate the iTunes, it will immediately detect my iPhone 6. Here. And we can see with the iMac G3 i7 wirelessly. Also, I am go I can sh I'm going to show you its connectivity with the classic iPod. Here we have the FireWire here. That's why we have a FireWire 400 in this uh, iMac G3 i7. Plug the FireWire here. And then the other end, the original iMac, uh, iPod, sorry. You can see there is iPhone 6 here and iPod here. You see here, the iPod. Here, uh, the original iPod, five GB. As to the uh, backup, time machine backup, it has already uh, been finished. And now I will eject the iPod. And close, quit the iTunes. Finally, I will show you the FaceTime camera. We also plug the firewall cord with the iMac. After we have uh, connected the iSage camera with the iMac G3 i7, we can activate it and then we can make FaceTime call and take photo using the iSage camera. Click the FaceTime and the icon and the screen will activate and you can see you can make phone call with the uh, iSage camera now. Thank you for watching this Update. Bye-bye.